Welcome to our Flat Music Notation software video tutorials. Today, we'll learn how to use slash and rhythmic notation. This type of notation is commonly used when you want to give the performer freedom to improvise. The slashes in the measures follow the meter, and there are chords indications above some slashes to indicate which notes to use for improvisation. FYI. The slash section will replace the previous content, not taking into account pitches, rests, or durations. If you want more granularity of the rhythm of the slashes, you can use rhythmic notation instead. The rhythmic section will replace the previous content with the slashes, but will keep the durations and the rests. When you are in rhythmic mode, you can add or remove a slash the same way you are adding notes and you can change the slash duration. Extra tip! You can add chords along with this notation and the playback will reproduce the chords. This is all for now. Don't forget to subscribe and let us know if you have any questions in the comments. Bye!